Hey guys, a couple days ago I promised you a beauty haul, and I think it's time we get to it. So the pre-Black Friday bug has bitten, apparently, because I've had the urge to splurge lately. And in fact, the Sephora VIB sale is going on right now, and it's taking everything within me to not place a massive order. And um, I've had a couple little mini splurges, and a pretty awesome brand box from a viewer, so lots of cool things for me to play with and get my greedy little mitts into. And I'm going to start with the first splurge, which was from Mimi Box. This is a company that specializes in sending out Korean beauty products and skincare products. They do have their own line, but they also do boxes of themed things or brand things. So you can get a box that's all one brand or that's all for whitening or hydration. They also occasionally do what are called lucky boxes that are mystery boxes. And it's really hard for me to resist a mystery box. So. I caved and got one, and it was a little bit of a mixed bag, or box, I guess, but what I got was this. Um, it is a good value for what the boxes cost, but I was hoping for a little more skincare and maybe a fun piece of makeup, and instead I got a lot of kind of prep tool type of stuff, but I got a brush cleaner spray from Mustav, I think is how you say it, which was good timing because I was just thinking that I needed a brush cleaner, and it was Halloween, and I really could have used it, so... I didn't end up using it, long story. I also got a brush from the same brand, it's an angled liner brush, but I used that for Halloween and I don't remember where I put it, so I can't show you that one, but um, I had really high hopes for it. It was just the right amount of softness and firmness and seemed to hold a really good point, but when I went to use it, it kind of split and got toothy. It could just be the product that I used it with, though, because I wasn't a huge fan of the liner that I was using, but if it stays the way it was when I used it, I'm not super impressed, so time will tell on that, I guess. On a similar front, and also kind of a total throwaway in the box, if you ask me, I got a six-pack of foam latex sponges from the brand Misha, I think is how you say it. Um, I did use one, that's why there's one missing. And I mean, they're nothing special. I'd rather have an exciting product that's really specific to Korea in the box than a latex sponge that I can get anywhere, and they're all going to be pretty much the same. So that one kind of felt like a space filler. And then I also got this little, like, parfait cup of four mask packs of the SMP Don't Worry Mango Sleeping Pack. And this one amuses me because the little figure on it kind of reminds me of a cross between Pippi Longstocking and... Wendy from Wendy's Restaurant. Because it's all in Korean, I can't tell you exactly what the mango sleeping pack is supposed to do, but I am a mask fiend, so that one's not too bad. Four masks, pretty decent. And I like the kitschiness. That's one thing that the Korean companies are really good for. Quirky and kitschy and innovative light years beyond the companies in the West. So. Then I got a Vita Brightening Renewal Mask from Leaders in Solution. If you've never seen one of these, this is what's called a sheet mask, which means unlike this, which has some kind of liquid or gel or mud or something in it that you would spread all over your face, this is like a thin cloth sheet that's soaked in a serum and you put the whole thing over your face in one go and look pretty terrifying for a while. Um, on its own, it looks very moisturize me, and it may moisturize you, so that's fitting, I guess. So it's got a high concentration of whatever the good ingredients are that it's trying to suffocate your face with so that your skin has to take it in. So I am a huge fan of sheet masks. This one is supposed to brighten and even your skin tone. And then the last thing in the box is from GXP, I guess? No, maybe that's what the product is. There are so many names on here, I'm really not entirely sure. Anyway, it's the Airpore Tightening and Moisturizer Spray. This is a mist, and this was the one thing I was really excited about in the box because I am a fan of the facial mist and the one that I've been using, which was also from Mimi Box. It's a lemon one from the brand Recipe. Um, I'm almost out of, and it was making me sad. So this is a new one to try. This one's kind of like a very fine oil. I've only used it a few times and I've already made quite a dent in it, so I think I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, which is disappointing because it's not that I'm using so much because it feels amazing, it just seems like it takes a lot to actually get anything on your face because it's so super fine. So we shall see. 
So that was all that came in my Mimi box. I did go ahead and add one thing to the order because I was just under the free shipping mark and adding this on actually made it cheaper with it than it would have been without it. Of course, it's sheet masks. So I thought this was really cute. It's a horror mask pack because it was Halloween so they were having a sale. Um, and again, as I said, the Korean beauty companies are quirky and kitschy and I love that. So these are meant to be kind of creepy. This one looks like a clown. This one looks like a skull. When you put it on, that's what they look like. Um, this one is black rice and this one is green tea. Again, just like the other sheet masks, they are a piece of cloth soaked in a serum to do targeted things. Um, but these ones are quirky and weirdo and totally oddball, which is right up my alley. So that is all from Mimi Box. Then moving on to the next splurge, which interestingly enough was from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I had seen on Twitter someone posted an Instagram, so I saw on Instagram through Twitter that the Dollar Tree had Milani Cosmetics, Maybelline Cosmetics, and Essie Nail Wraps in their stores, and I was like, no way. So I went thinking, there's no way I'm going to find any, it was probably like a big location, and even if there were any, they're probably all gone. Luckily, in my two Dollar Trees, between my two Dollar Trees in my town, I kind of scored, so... I did, first thing I found was the Essie nail wraps, so of course I had to get them. A lot of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, I loaded up on these bad boys. Some of these are going to be Christmas gifts, so there are a couple duplicates in here, but I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these, if not most of these, are for me. The quality might not be great because who knows how old they are or how they've been stored, so they may turn out to be duds, but honestly, for a normally $11 nail wrap to be a dollar, it was a guarantee I was going to stock up. And even as many as I got, I kind of wondered if I should have got more. Just sad. But anyway, the wraps that I got are Love to Love You, See Me Shine, A2 Zebra, Don't Cheetah on Me, Clearly Essie Likes a Pun, Small Pleasures, Shoot for the Moon, Over the Moon, Stickers and Stones, which might be my favorite one. So Hot, Steal the Show, and Croc Madame. Then I was on the hunt for the Milani lip products. I got a Milani lip gloss and three lip intense liquid colors in the shades 02 Pink Rave, 03 Fiery Coral, and 04 Violet Addict, which is like my favorite lip shade. I love violet. And again, for a dollar, couldn't beat it. And the one last thing was I got a Maybelline Baby Lips in the color 90 Minty Sheer, which is green. Um, but, you know, don't don't be afraid. It's, it's sheer. It doesn't turn your lips green. It's sort of similar, actually, to the Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor lipstick, which looks sort of scary, being, you know, royal blue and all, but it's not. It just goes on a sheer, sheer wash of blue to kind of give your lips their perfect berry tint. Though regardless, I've talked about this one and how I would have bought it on packaging alone because I'm obsessed. That's the kind of nut I am. I also picked up a couple random things at TJ Maxx of all places. I got a Sally Hansen Color Foil Nail Polish in the color 510 Pink Platinum, which um, I just needed to test because when I put a little dot on my hand, to see what the color was like. It was so weird that I was like, I've got to get this and try it out. I mean, I think you could actually see that little dot in my last video, so there's the explanation on that. <laughs> and then I also got the Essie Ridge Filling Base Coat because it was essentially half off and I had been wanting a Ridge Filling Base Coat, so that was kind of very fortuitous. And the last thing, and I'm sorry that this video is getting so super long, you guys, but I got this big package from Kayla, who is an independent consultant for Perfectly Posh, and she told me on my last haul video that she thought I would really like them and she would like to send me some samples and see what I think and kind of share my thoughts with you guys as well as the opportunity to maybe get some stuff yourself. So I kind of looked into the brand and thought it looked a little reminiscent of Lush and seemed really neat and cutesy, so I said yes. So. She sent me a package and she loaded me up. First of all, I just need to talk about this packaging and how cute it was. So everything came wrapped in pink zebra stripes. And then within zebra pouches, but in the larger zebra pouch, was 
stuffed, whoops, stuffed with goodies. <laughs> now, I was going to tell you every single sample, but that would just go on for ages. So I'm just going to kind of show you some of them and give the information for Perfectly Posh below as well as Kayla's contact info in case you want to look into it, get your own samples, host a party, anything like that. And then in a few weeks or so when I've kind of tried some things out, um, I'll do an update and tell you more about the things that I loved and what I think of the company and all that jazz. So. I'm not going to list every single thing because she really loaded me up and we would be here until tomorrow morning. But suffice it to say there were hand creams and soap bars and face washes and moisturizers and all kinds of things in this pouch. And then in this pouch, oh god, tons and tons and tons and tons of little pots of, again, hand creams, moisturizers, face scrubs, masks, tons and tons and tons of stuff. Some of which I am very curious about, like the coffee scrub or Smashing Good Pumpkin, which first of all has a cute name and also I'm obsessed with anything that has pumpkin in it, and the Kale Face mask because that name just cracks me up. So yeah, tons, tons of goodies in here for me to play with and get my new product fixed so that I don't cave and order. A bunch of nonsense from Sephora. She also gave me her card. Um, it has a little Makeout Magic lip scrub and a little bath bar. And then this little packet that I don't know what it has in it yet, so we're gonna find out. Um, but it does say that if you buy five things, you get the sixth free, which I did see on their website. And this has a little foot scrubby. Beyond that, there's info about the company and their little catalog. And everything was sealed with an owl sticker. It's all very cute, it looks like a fun company, and some interesting products, and as I said it kind of reminds me of Lush, and I don't have a Lush close to me, so if you don't either this might be something to look into, or a fun girls night type of thing, or even a fun opportunity for you to get into and become a consultant on too if you like that type of stuff. Um, as I said, I will leave Kayla's info below so that you can check out the company and their products and contact Kayla if you have questions or want to order anything or see about samples or parties or all of that jazz. Um, and I will be talking more about it later after I've gotten to try everything out and can give you my opinion. So big thanks to Kayla for that. Sorry this video is endless. I know. If you want to know my thoughts on anything more in depth for anything that I showed you guys, or if you just like these types of videos and want more beauty stuff occasionally in with all the bookish stuff, definitely let me know in the comments and I will chat with you about everything down there. But that is all for this ridiculous and splurge filled haul. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you again soon.